Politics now. Governor Jeb Bush delivering a major foreign policy address this evening at the Ronald Reagan Library. His campaign releasing this excerpt, quote, and where was Secretary Clinton in all of this? Like the president himself, she had opposed the surge and then joined claiming credit for its success and then stood by as that hard won victory by American and allied forces was thrown away. Who can seriously argue that America and our friends are safer today in 2000, then in 2009. Well, in the meantime, Donald Trump was on Fox and Friends today talking with our Steve Ducey about ISIS. Listen to this. And yet I'm the most militaristic, you know, the most militaristic person there is, but I wasn't a fan. Now that we're there and you have these guys chopping off Christians' heads, I say, cut them off where they're getting their wealth. Cut them off at the oil. I said, keep the oil because somebody else will take it. Well, joining me now to talk about all of this, Simon Rosenberg, president of NDNA, a Democratic think tank, and a former Bill Clinton campaign advisor, and also Larry O'Connor, a morning radio show host in Washington, D.C., and editor-at-large for IJReview.com. Gentlemen, I was sitting there as Steve was talking to uh, Donald Trump this morning, and boy, did that idea of taking the oil from Iraq, I mean, heck, we get blamed for it anyway, uh, that got a lot of traction in social media. Larry, what do you expect for Donald Trump as a result of those comments? It did. Well, listen, once again, Donald Trump is uh, speaking to some very angry and frustrated Americans who are really, really frustrated over Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama's debacle in Iraq. Uh, all of that hard fought victory that we saw in Iraq has been wasted. Now ISIS is rolling through it, unlike Jeb Bush, who's going to give a, you know, a very important speech, as he says, but but he's not actually offering any solutions that we can see. Donald Trump is offering a solution. Now, you may not agree with the solution, but mm -hmm. Donald Trump excites people because he takes the bull by the horns and says, let's just go in and fix it. Well, and, Larry, and by in, the way, in fairness, we have not heard Jeb Bush's exact plan yet. He plans to deliver that. We well, just have some, some broad overviews. But, uh, Simon, but, let me bring you in here. One of the things we expect him sure. to talk about was that the uh, withdrawal from Iraq. He calls it premature and says it was a fatal error. That's something a whole lot of military leaders have agreed with. So doesn't Jeb Bush have a point there? Yeah, listen, I think this is going to be one of the most heavily debated points in the presidential campaign over the next year and a half. And it's the Democrats' view that the argument Bush is making and Republicans are making that everything was good in Iraq until Obama got there is ridiculous. I mean, we know that in the first Iraq war, George Bush did not finish, didn't take out Saddam Hussein because the Bush advisors were worried that if they unleashed the chaos in Iraq that his brother did, that there would be, that, that we would have an unending war there. And so I think that there were a lot of mistakes made. Larry, let me finish. There were a lot of mistakes made by Bush. I'm not going to sit here and say that everything Barack Obama has done has been perfect. But then right? they but have that rapid, the notion, rapid drawdown, no, 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 which, as, no, no, as Bush no, no, would point out. The notion that things were in good shape, but the, th the notion that things were in good shape when Barack Simon. Obama came into office Larry, is a joke. Larry, why don't you join in here? Yeah. Simon, would you rather have Iraq circa 2008 or Iraq with ISIS storming through it circa 2015? Mm -hmm. I think most Americans recognize that things were better before Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton messed it up. And, and by the way, with regard to Jeb Bush's, I know, we, I know, Heather, we don't have the whole speech, but he is so spooked by his brother's legacy that there's no possible way that he could uh, institute tonight some sort of policy that brings American troops back All right, in there. Well, we'll be he watching. I believe that's at 9 p.m. Eastern policy. time out of the, out of the Reagan Ranch. I uh, want to ask you about something else. We're getting our brand new, uh, brand new polls in as a result uh, following that debate. This is from Suffolk University. It came out of Iowa. And here's what it shows. It shows Donald Trump leading the Republican field in Iowa, it gives him 17 percent among likely GOP caucus voters, followed by Scott Walker, Marco Rubio, Ben Carson, Jeb Bush then coming in seventh behind Ted Cruz and Carly Fiorina. So, gentlemen, let me ask you this. With all the, the money and the name ID behind Jeb Bush, what does this tell you at 5 percent? Well, it tells me that all of these national polls up until now have really just been that a popularity contest. Everyone recognizes the name Bush, so they say, oh, sure. But now that they've had a chance to see the debate Thursday night on Fox News, they've got to see some people like Marco Rubio, like Ben Carson, like Carly Fiorina, who I've been saying for quite some time is a dark horse here. Yeah. So things are going to tighten up. Just remember, eight years ago in 2011, Rick Perry was leading the polls nationally, Mitt Romney number two, and Michelle Bachman was a solid third. So and it is it's still so early. Simon, let me give you the last word here. Yeah, sure. I, listen, I think it's we've seen movement. Trump is still holding very strong in all the polls post the debate. We've seen Ben Carson and Carly Fiorino now start to assert themselves. It's a wide open race. I mean, it's very volatile. Things are moving around. And I think these next set of debates, like this Fox debate last week, are going to be very consequential in the early days of the Republican debate. All yeah. right, gentlemen, thank you so much. We'll talk to you again real soon. Simon Rosenberg Thanks. and Larry O'Connor, have a great day.